Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, June 25, 2019, at 1.03 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, Judgment, Come to Our Shores, Part 2. And guys, I'm going to read you all of them that, well, I say all of them, since the uh, medieval era, through today, only seven of the big ones, but there's another big one at hand that I'm going to tell you about, and some of you may know, and some of you may not know. How is this disease transmitted? Well, you're looking at it right there. Rats carry the plague bacteria. Fleas drink the blood. Bacteria multiply, multiplies in the flea's abdomen. Flea bite human, human infected. And this is a bubonic. That's one way to transmit this disease, the bubonic. Now, strong in certain types of any bacteria or, or um, you know what I'm trying to say, will kill it. So we have that, but do we have enough? So let me move on here. Another way to get a virus that actually can be the bubonic plague is through coughing, through touching or getting droplets on you and I just again I want to save one part for the end and it's going to be a shocker for some of you and uh, but specific antibiotics kills these things we have eradicated everything that's come to our shores from polio measles mumps TB and more much more but yet it's not being controlled today. They're letting it just pass through here. But the biggest problem we're going to have may not be coming across from Angola in those places, Uganda. They may be a little bit closer to home. And I mean closer than Mexico too. So if you have a dog that that catches this your, your dog gets into someone or gets into an area where this transmission may be available or your dog or your cat can bring it home and all you do you know you, you see a cat cough and you think it automatically distemper well something's in that distemper and it may kill you and um so let's let's go here right now. Smallpox, more than 400 million people died in the 20th century. The 20th century of smallpox, Spanish flu, 1918, 1919, 100 million died in two years. Black death, the year 1340 through 1343, I'm sorry, 1337 through 1343, 200 million. This is the medieval era, the Middle Ages. This is the one that killed a third of the population of this planet. Malaria, year 1600 through today, average 2 million per year die. AIDS, 1981 till today, 25 million died. Cholera, 1817 through today, eight pandemics. There's been hundreds of thousands, the actual numbers in the low millions died. Typhus, 1918, 1923, or 1922, three million died in Russia alone. And, and keep in mind, this made it circle around from Russia all the way down through Africa and right back up. The numbers it killed, no one knows. And I'm going to get to something else before I come right back 
to why I'm telling you this, because this one is, is really sickening. Euthanasia, if someone chooses, there's countries that have that law. If someone chooses, they want to be euthanized. For the right reason, they can be. In the Netherlands, a girl age 17 was raped two years ago. And she's so sad, she decided she didn't want to live. Well, she's dead now. They let her have her way. And aren't there enough ways that people are dying around this world today without doing these kinds of things? I would say the people that authorize that are more in alignment with a socialist system and Agenda 21 than they are a capitalist system. And that's, that's just what I want to tell you about that. Now, let me tell you, if you want to catch the bubonic plague, this is the best way to do it right here. Again, if you want to catch the bubonic plague, here's how to do it. Surround yourself with human waste. That's right. Surround yourself with human waste. If you want to avoid it in L.A., San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, watch the signs that says no poop zones. Yes, they're going up. Go to those areas where there's not human waste everywhere. Why is that happening? Why are people allowed to live the way they're living? This is the homeless, but you also have to keep in mind over 50% of the homeless choose to be homeless. They don't have to be there. Over 50% in the 60 to 65% choose to be homeless. Well, government gives them money. So here we are. The Democrats in these states are now reaping what they sowed. They are under judgment right now. California, Oregon, and Seattle and there may be another state or two that we're not hearing about. Repeat that. The Democrats of these states, California, Oregon, Seattle, they're under judgment. They are reaping what they sowed, and it's about to get ugly. And I don't mean any more crap than what you already see it's about to get ugly i'm talking about there's going to be a plague come out of this sit back and watch it's going to happen democrats for some ungodly insane reason this is what they want otherwise why are they allowing it jody wolf exposed